Okay. All right. From, um, from Maddie Hayes, who I loved, to Martha Stewart, who um, I'm not too sure about, our next guest has played some of the most intriguing women on television. This Sunday, she's at it again in Martha Be Behind Bars. Please welcome back to the show, Sybil Shepherd. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, baby. Welcome. You look great. Hey, you look great. Thank you. I feel pretty good, actually. I feel good, too. Yeah. I think, how are you? I think I'm good? really doing great. I had a great summer, relaxing, and just take, enjoying life. Uh, <laughs> in um, January, it'll be, I'll be a four, four years uh, free of cancer. Is that right? Oh, God. Very happy. Boy. Very happy. That's a reason to be happy. That's oh, for sure. Oh, there's lots of reasons to be happy. Yeah, but that one, you know, your health. I mean, you know, you can have the world, but if you don't have oh, your health. Oh, you know, the thing about it is that it really does make you, made me appreciate every single moment that I have with loved ones and, and made me decide to try to force myself to date again. Oh, really? Yeah, I got really shy there for a while. Really? Yeah, I would see, I was trying to be proactive, so I'd see if I saw an interesting man at a party or a restaurant or a grocery store or something, I would... Uh, ask him if he was unattached, and, and if he said yes, I'd ask for his card, and then I never called him. <laughs> I had a stack of cards. Really? Yeah, I, I would just say, oh, I'm going to be really, I'm going to get dates, I'm going to try to get out, and, you know, and all So guys stuff. would give you the card? No, no, then... I would go, or sometimes if I was in a restaurant, I saw somebody attractive over there, I'd write him a notes and say, all right, if you're unattached and would like to talk, please call me, and I'd write Sybil Shepherd, and then I'd give him a number that uh, I would never answer, of course. <laughs> Well, but not many of those called me. But wait, wait, you know, because I, I have a theory about the uh, men and women that really men like to chase. They, they, they have, you know, I always say my wife let me chase her and then she let me catch her. <laughs> but, uh, but, but you know what I'm saying? I think sometimes being proactive may not, uh, may, may not work. Maybe well, that's... I didn't call, the, I didn't call the, the guys. I mean, finally I did, several months later, I remember this one man I met at a benefit I did um, for the children for music and art in Temecula because uh, so, they don't have it in, in public schools. Oh, and there was this very, two very tall men. One was particularly, uh, you know, kind of blew my skirt up, even though I hadn't met him. But, um... Blew your skirt up? Well, I hadn't heard that. No, no, no. He just... didn't blow my skirt up then. That would come later. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I, I thought it was so attractive, and, and I couldn't remember which card was his, so I had to start calling oh, gosh, people yeah. and ask them where they... And then I was worried that the other man, who was also very nice and everything, but didn't do it for me, I had to make sure I got the right guy. Yeah, and then, that's... uh... See, yeah, I'm telling you, this uh, system of yours has some, you know, some problems, I think. I think that, you know, you got to... Who has some problems? Why, why, no, the system. You don't have problems. Wait, 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 wait. Before you knock the system, you have to find out, did it work? Okay, did it work? So far, working very well. Really? So, oh, so you got... Oh, well, all right, yeah, so... Yeah. So, my, what do I know, anyway? Well, no, I mean, like, uh, I finally uh, tracked this guy down. I got the correct card, and then I talked to him for a long time, and then I met him places, and then finally I let him pick me up, and then gradually I let him come to my house, and oh. it was very slow, and... Oh, nice. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, good. Well, I'm, I'm happy for <laughs> He's you. He's kind of like a bear So there was a lot, of, a lot of good He's stuff. He's a kind man. He's oh. not like a really nasty, bad boy, like, you know, that kills you and breaks your heart and trashes you. You, you've, uh, seems like maybe you've had some experience. Yeah, it's my that. own fault. We choose yeah. them, don't we? Huh? Yeah, yeah. We choose them. No, no, I, I, I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we choose them. And the other thing is, uh, sometimes the men that are really kind and really, like, good guys and just, care about you we run the opposite direction because we're not used to it no oh, i see yeah well men women like the bad boys um well this man is not all you know he's got a little bit of uh, he doesn't uh, exactly have a halo on okay good well that's you good. know i mean when it comes down to that kind of stuff if you see what if you get what i'm yeah. going on just oh no that, i do I, I, nice. I think i have an idea where you're i going, can trust yeah. you know it's really hard for me to trust I, I, it's been hard my whole Why? life well, you know, you're famous, you've been famous, and you know what it's like. Like, you never know if people are coming after you to get you to do, they want you to, they want to get you to pay for something, they want to get yeah. you to get a break in the business, they want to be seen with you, they don't really care about who I you like, are. I like to think, though, that my judgment, I mean, you can always be Have fooled. you been perfect every time? Um, no, 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 absolutely not. But I, but I would like to think that as I get older, that my judgment is, is about works people. works better. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. some things actually work better. Well, Which is good. I think that's good, too. No, obviously, uh, you, are, you like to chase. Women like to be chased. Men like to chase. But also, you like to, I like to think of it more as, like, sometimes you're going this way, and sometimes you're going that way, and sometimes you're going that way. Uh-huh. You know, like, it's not, like, static. It's not like, if I, if I had to be chased all the time, I'd never get caught. Well, maybe I would. 
I have a feeling you'd let them catch you. Anyway, um, we're going to come back and talk a lot more. We're going to talk about the Martha movie. What? Martha. Who? Mar uh, <laughs> more with Civil Shepherd. We'll be right back. It's not looking good. Talk is they're going to subpoena everyone who sold him clone. Hmm. And when was it exactly we sold my stock? Back on December 27th, when they all did. And Sam got word the FDA wasn't going to approve Herbitux when? The 26th. And they officially denied it? 28th. The good news is, I never spoke to Sam on any of those days. I merely returned a call to my broker. That's right. And we've done nothing wrong. Of course we did nothing wrong. Now here, have some more fresh papaya juice. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, we're back with Civil Shepherd, and that, of course, is the, the, the new movie, Martha, Behind Bars. And yes. you do a pretty good Martha. Oh, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, I mean, uh, you really do. Thank you. Um, I, actually, I did, uh, I don't think of those, like, those, that did the two movies, but I feel like I did two different Marthas. I had to approach the second film. I had to figure out a way to do it fresh for me. I had to, so I, I was like I'd never played her before. I did the research, I didn't reference the movie before, so I could bring a, some kind of emotional realization to it about this woman who's so public, and very rarely do you see her private uh, emotions, and I, of course I had to control it the way Martha would, mm. but uh, ultimately... It looks like you have her pretty good, pretty well done there. Well, hopefully it's, re you know, it's, you can enjoy it. What's the next Martha movie? I mean, this is a... a musical! It's a franchise for you, though, isn't it? I mean, it really is. I hope that I'm so fortunate that I get to do Martha again. It's like playing Queen Elizabeth the first. I play her as many times as possible. Really, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, have you, uh, have you heard from Martha? No, actually, I haven't. Although mm. I've heard that, um, oh, she Wait, was wait, wait. Hey, Martha, come on out, Martha. No, no, I'm kidding. Wouldn't it be great? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish. Oh, I wish, yes. Oh, I'm not afraid of Martha in the least. If she's not afraid of me, I think we'll get along great. Really? Yeah. yeah. What do you think about the, the whole phenomenon of Martha? Well, first of all, she's an extraordinary woman, self-made woman. That's she built true. an empire. It's like one of the great stories of all time. You could call her Jane Smith. I would have want, I would have wanted to play this part. So she reaches the top of everything, and then she takes this terrible crash, goes to prison, comes back stronger than ever. Not only that, writes letters. I downloaded all that. Every single thing that she wrote from prison becomes an advocate for women in prison and also is now more successful than ever. I admire her more than ever, and I just wish her all the best. And I think, though, that she's wrong to think that the next movie that's made about her that she thinks she should play the part and I say Martha it's a mistake for you to play you no no kidding yeah she she, she wants to play herself well, that's what she said no. <laughs> hey real quick this is called jazz baby these are your oh, yeah, CDs yeah, yeah. Jazz right baby that's right yeah. and it's a compilation and I did four tracks on it and I got I'm great uh, Taj Mahal and uh, Janice Siegel Claudia Kuna Rosemary Clooney it's great it's um, it's traditional nursery rhymes and uh, lullabies done by jazz r and artists. You can It's great for adults, too. All right, guys. Highly That's recommend great. it. That's great. All right, listen, Martha. Martha Behind Bars, Sunday night at 9 on CBS. And Jazz Baby is in stores in October. And uh, Sybil, thanks very you. much. I love you. You're the oh, best. We'll be, we'll be right back. We'll be right back.